Mohammed Kulai Qutb Shah, was the third son of Ibrahim Kulai Qutb Shah, and the fifth Sultan of Qutb Shahi dynasty, who founded Hadrabat in 1591, and built the famous Charminar. He was an able administrator, and his reign is considered one of the high points of the Qutb Shahi dynasty. He ascended to the throne in 1580, at the age of 15, and ruled for 31 years. Though he was very young, he was trained in all fields required to a ruler. He was a great scholar, and wrote several books in Deccan Urdu. He suppressed revolts in the kingdom with help and support of capable army officers, and always kept law and order. There is a beautiful love story attached to the history of Hadrabad. Many questions its validity, but several historians have claimed it to be true. The young prince, Mohammed Kulai met a girl, Bagamati, in Shiklam village who was on her way to temple, while searching for a new place for establishment of a new city, and was captivated by her charm and beauty. He fell madly in love with her, and wanted to marry her. However, she was a Hindu, and they faced strict opposition from the Muslims of that time. He is believed to have crossed the river during storm and flood to meet Bagamati. Hearing which his father, Sultan Ibrahim Kulai Qutb Shah, built a bridge on Musi River, now known as Paran Apul. Bagamati converted to Islam, and her name became Hyder Mahal. The city was then called Hadrabad after her. Mohammed Kulai Qutb Shah, was an able administrator, and a great builder. He maintained good relations with Persia, and there is was extensive trade between Gokanda and Persia. The Charminar was built eroding the complete extraction of plague, which occurred in Hadrabad during his reign. Later he also constructed architectural wonders like, Char Kuman, Jama Masjid, Daryl Shafat, Gagan Mahal, and many more in Hadrabad. He was the one who laid the foundation stone of Makkah Masjid, after checking that there was no one in the crowd who never skipped a single prayer. Mohammed Kulai Qutb Shah, was a peaceful person, and though there were border skirmishes, he was not a military conqueror. His involvement with the Mughals was indirect, and he managed to keep his sovereignty. He was more involved in poetry, town planning, architecture, and literature. Kulai Qutb Shah, was a scholar of Arabic, Persian, and Telugu languages. He wrote poetry in Urdu, Persian, and Telugu.